What's up guys? Today I want to find a way to get rid of all these nasty oil stains before I move out of my rental house. I don't want the landlord charging me a bundle just for something stupid like that. Look at this guy. He almost looks proud of the mess he's made. For this video, I wanted to find one product that could get rid of all these stains. I've had really good success with Goof Off's products in the last few years, so I decided to give their oil stain remover a try. I'll throw a link in the description down below for you so you can order this online and pick it up at your local Home Depot. It cost me less than 10 bucks for this product. I started out by using the general cleaning instructions on the back. Goof Off recommends an ounce and a half to every gallon of water. Personally, after testing it, I thought one to every 20 ounces worked just a little bit better. For the general cleaning, they recommend using a pump sprayer. After the area is soaked, you're supposed to use a broom to scrub it off, then rinse the area off with some water. I use a scrubbing brush for dishes. It seemed to work pretty well. I hope I don't die when I go to wash my dishes later. I sprayed, brushed, and rinsed about four different times. Even by really drenching it and letting it sit for about eight to 10 hours, it got it a little bit cleaner, but it still didn't give me the results I wanted. I really dug in there and scrubbed really hard too. But to be honest, I was just a little bit disappointed with the general cleaning results. That being said, Goof Off does include instructions for hard to remove stains, so I decided to try that. They want you to just pour it right on top of the stain. The solution should extend past the stain about an inch on all the sides. In reality, I probably should have bought two bottles of this for such a big stain. The manufacturer recommends an eighth to a quarter inch of depth when you're putting it on top of an oil stain. Even spreading it really thin, it worked really, really well. I believe this is the ideal depth right here, and this is one that I've spread out. As you can see, I've got some really, really thin areas too. We'll see how it's going to turn out. I let mine dry for about 12 hours before brushing it off. I think the shop broom would have brushed this off just fine too. I figured I'd just keep going since I already started using this. Once you sweep up all the residue, it's time to rinse it off. Once the concrete dries out, we'll take a look at the results. Here's where that little stain was. You can't even tell it was there. As for those big stains, you can only see small hints from these rusty spots. These were already here when I moved in, and I wasn't sure an oil stain remover was going to remove these. There was also some paint on the floor, and obviously it didn't get that either. But overall, going from this to this, I'm pretty happy. Don't waste your time going through some crazy process to get rid of an oil stain. You'll probably end up spending way more money, and it's a huge hassle. Overall today, I'm going to give this Goof Off product an A-. And that's just because the general cleaning directions didn't quite give the results I was after. If you use it for hard stain removal though, it works awesome. Don't forget, I'm throwing that link down in the description for you so you can buy the exact same product. If you got value out of this video today, be sure to smash that like button so I know you want more of them just like it.